Jane starts with Lily. And the uh, retirement of a top executive, Lily. Uh, Jane. Hi, Lily. That's Hi, Jane. right. A very. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Scott Kelly. Good morning. Uh, yeah, the Eli Lilly executive who oversaw development of Monjaro, it's blockbuster diabetes medicine that's also going to be used for weight loss, it looks like, will retire at the end of the year. So Mike Mason will step down as executive vice president of diabetes and obesity. Diabetes drugs are a huge driver of Lilly's growth. And Monjaro, as we mentioned, also being prescribed for weight loss. So he will be replaced by Patrick Johnson, who will also continue in his role as president of Lilly USA. Well, home ownership is out of reach for millions of Americans. Real estate data provider Adam examined 572 U.S. counties and determined that median home prices in 99% of those areas are out of reach for the average income earner who makes about $71,000 a year. Well, orange juice prices have been soaring up 270%, in fact, since 2020. Of course, the majority of the U.S. oranges are grown in Florida, and they've dealt with disease and also hurricanes in recent years. And Disney is discounting children's tickets at its domestic theme parks for a limited time next year. The price cuts come as the company has seen a slowdown in attendance at the parks. So starting October 24th, parents can purchase children's tickets. These are for kids ages 3 to 9 for as low as 50 dollars each and then those can be used between january and march next year stocks closed with gains yesterday we haven't seen that too much lately uh, interest rates dropped a little bit oil prices fell but uh, this morning we are looking back down again about 70 points life in the nasdaq market site i'm jane king back to you all right jane thank you